Hello everyone, I am Arglin, your local Durable Poly Engineer, and welcome to the very first episode of the Kinetic Bridge Basics, where I'm going to be teaching you how to make bridge designs similar to mine. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you the most important thing that you'll need to be very firm on before even starting with making any of these bridges. So, let's dive into it. Now a major disclaimer I want to go over before we start is every case has a different set of specifications. So don't use this as a guaranteed go-to for every level you encounter. I'm only showing you the usual way I tackled levels for over-engineering, but given the proper experience, you will understand what things will work better over others. Now, almost no kinetic bridge I make can work without this very basic thing. No, it's not the hydraulic, surprise surprise. The hydraulic is actually just a power source and can be replaced by plenty of other stuff like gravity or even a car. I'm talking about this little being, which is a 4 bar parallelogram linkage. Yes, I know, it's a parallelogram. Nothing special about it, right? And on its own, you're absolutely right. But if you strap a power source to it, which in this case we're using hydraulic, you'll find out that its true power begins to shine. I have highlighted the shorter beams to be wooden and the longer beams to be steel. Now there's two things that you can take from this. One, you can see despite how much it moves, the steel beams always stay at the same angle with each other, and the wooden beams always stay at the same angle with each other as well. Now guess what? You can chain a whole bunch of them together, and it'll still work. I sometimes like to call this a wire, mostly because the movement of the original wood here that's being pulled by the hydraulic on one end gets transmitted all the way down the whole line and makes it to the other wooden beam on the opposite end to move the same amount. Now let's see some of its applications. So first scenario, you want to figure out how to get this block to be raised. But the problem is that we only have one hydraulic, and that hydraulic is already being occupied by this other block that we are lowering. So, what do we do? Well, let's play around. If we place a beam that extends away from the hydraulic, you can see that it moves upwards. That's good. But how do we get that upwards movement to the other side? Well, this is where the 4 bar parallelogram linkage comes into play. I'm going to place a wooden beam here that is connected to the anchor and the steel here just as a test to see if it moves fine. Then I took this wooden beam and copied it to the next anchor, then the next one, then the next one. I then connected them all together with steel and now you can see there are multiple parallelogram shapes chained to each other. Now I just need to connect it to the green block and as you can see, the starting wooden beam transfers its movement down the line to the ending wooden beam. And as you can see, that beam then pushed upwards on the green block. Scenario number two. What if we wanted to push it up farther? As you can see here, the hydraulic is now longer and the block can now move higher. But if we try to use the original design we had, it grows tall. Well, no worries. All you need to do is just allow for greater movement. Now, let's just do the same process. And give it a play. Hmm, something's wrong here. Let's break it down. Here's the same thing, but slowed down. Now, just moments before it failed, it's approaching the position where all the beams are becoming collinear, which is just a fancy term for saying all the beams are forming a single line. The problem about this is that we've reached the point where the system is now unstable and is then dependent on its environment. Here, let me pull up another example. In this example, I have two wooden beams that I am now connecting together by two steel beams. 
Essentially what I have here now is just a parallelogram that is completely flattened into a single line. Now I'm going to pull one part of the parallelogram to the right. Now which way do you think the other one beam is going to go to? To the right, with the other one beam, or to the left? Well the answer is, in a perfect simulation, neither. Of course Polybridge isn't perfect so I can't really demonstrate that. However, I can demonstrate that a tiny uneven weight is enough to make it to flip either direction. This is what I mean when I say that in a collinear state, this system is dependent on its environment. Now you may be asking how do I fix this? Well, this is where the next premise comes into play. Introducing a triangle. I, I don't know why that sounded so much better in my head, but whatever. Now just watch as I copy this triangle to the other one beam, and then connect them together at the tip. Now all of a sudden, it works completely fine. I can add weight on either side, a really heavy weight, that is. And it still does nothing. What's going on here? Well, this is a form of bracing for the parallelogram linkage. It creates an offset axis for the linkage, which now prevents any position where all three steel beams become collinear with each other, which is exactly what we need. So going back to the original design we used, I'm going to turn all of these regular wooden beams into wooden triangles. I'm going to copy it all the way down the chain, connect them together, and then give it a play. And as you can see, it works completely fine now. So, to sum everything up, the opposite beams on a 4 bar parallelogram linkage always stay at the same angle. You can chain multiple of these together to transmit desired movement across very long distances. And, if beams become collinear at any one time and fail, you can use two congruent triangles as a form of bracing. So that concludes episode 1 of the Kinetic Bridge Basics. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, leave a like. And if you would like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. And anywho, I'm your local Durgo Poly Engineer, and have a wonderful day.